First of all, the floor has to be stripped. For this floor, use turbo strip. Remove the safety ring and mix the turbo strip with water in the ratio stated on the label. Pour the mixed stripper onto a part of the floor. Then spread the stripper with a whitehead mop. Let the turbo strip soak and work in for 5 to 15 minutes. This enables a turbo strip to dissolve old layers of sealant which can then be removed. Only cover as much area as you'll be able to work on before the floor dries. And don't forget to cover those hard to reach places. The surface is now slippery. Take care to wear rubber boots with high grip soles. For stripping, use a grey renovation pad and take the smaller pad out of the centre. Work on the area with an SRP2 single disc machine. Firstly, move the machine along the edges, then go on to the main area. Always move the machine at a steady speed. The floor must not be allowed to dry out. If necessary, spread a bit more turbo strip. The floor becomes noticeably lighter. The old sealing film is removed under the rotating pad following the effect of the turbo strip. Strip the entire floor using a figure of eight movement. Move in overlapping strips until the whole surface has been stripped and cleaned. This floor has been overused and is heavily soiled. Therefore more turbo strip is applied a second time onto the still wet floor. After a time the grey renovation pad becomes blocked by dissolved sealant film. That's the white mass which you can see here on the pad. Simply turn the pad over and continue working using the reverse side. Once again first strip the edge then go on to the main area. Should you find stubborn remnants of sealant film at a particular spot Clean these up by moving the machine in smaller circles. On no account should you run the SRP machine standing at a single spot. Keep it moving in small circles. Make sure you remove all the old sealant film. After stripping, the floor should feel smooth to the touch. Any visible blemishes or stains are usually due to remnants of sealant film which haven't been removed. Carefully work on the entire area. The outermost edges and places which you can't reach with an SRP2 have to be stripped and cleaned by hand. For this purpose use a pad master with a green pad or a small grey renovation pad. The dissolved sealant film, dirt and the turbo strip must now be vacuumed off. For this purpose, use a professional wet and dry vacuum cleaner or a premium F2. Carefully vacuum the entire area. Before stripping, there was dirt and a worn sealant film on the floor. After stripping the floor, all traces have been removed and it is clean.